words advent and adventure share a common Latin root, adventures, about to happen. In an adventure, we look forward in expectation of something new and exciting, which will break us out of our routine. Although true exploration, in the sense of discovering new things, is now mostly the realm of astronauts and deep sea divers, adventure is available to anyone. Hey, ah! Ah! <laughs> Keep going. I'm like, what? Well, Thanks, guys. I thought you were gonna drive off. Wait. What we need to realize is that it's not the discovery of new things that is important for the average person, but the understanding of ourselves, which we often acquire through high adventure. First pack. Nobody's powering up. And he's off. We're sitting here ripping in Kings Park in New York, and we get a guy come up looking for MD. We got Drone Bum here. What's your channel, What's Drone up, Bum? Guy? Drone Bum, that's it. Just Drone, drone Bum? Drone bum. All right, Drone, drone bum. bum, check it out. Check it out, man. So you're mostly a photography drone guy. Yeah, I, I fly the Mavic Zoom. I had a Phantom before that. I like to drop them in the ocean. That's my hobby. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you know? Well, I just drop them. what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this guy in the goggles, and yeah, we're gonna take right. him we're for a try. couple dives in a run. T.S. Eliot said, Only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. In FPV, we're all too familiar with pushing ourselves, with challenging ourselves to do greater and more difficult things, to break out of the confines of a box and to think outside of the realm of ordinary. It was Jim Rohn who said, if you're not willing to risk the unusual, you'll have to settle for the ordinary. And none of us likes ordinary. In fact, I don't believe I've ever been involved in any other hobby where people strive so hard to be extraordinary. It was during this trip that I've had my first experience with the ultimate sacrifice. The full loss of a drone. GoPro drone, everything involved, stuck on a roof. And it was because I was pushing myself to be extraordinary. And I don't regret it. After all, just as we've been discussing, you cannot grow into greater things without pushing yourself. And so push I did. And yet, amid the greatest loss, experiencing the most grief, we can find points of extreme beauty. Much like this one here, where Joe was interacting with a crowd during breakfast, showing them what FPV is all about, educating people who have never seen this hobby before as to the very interesting, great things that we experience, the things that push us to do the things that we do. And it's at these times that we can experience growth, not just in ourselves, in our individuality, but also as a group. It's at times when we share things like this, that we become closer, sometimes with complete strangers, or like this trip, as friends who already share FPV, who share the same likenesses, who share a lot of the same viewpoints, a lot of the same pleasures. Some of us entered this trip as friends or even acquaintances. But when we finished this trip, we were family.
As much as this trip was about experiencing new things in regards to flying, it was also just to experience new things, period. The four of us are country boys. We're familiar with woods and trees and fields and parks, but this urban landscape is new to us, especially the backstage of it, all these different things we were seeing. Little did we expect to have such a great experience like we did, being able to experience this urban artscape to be able to experience some of these buildings that seem lost and forgotten but we come to realize aren't that a lot of people share an enjoyment for visiting these places like these awesome guys we met the Urban Jedi Knights who specialize in fan created lightsaber battles we are here at the uh bud plant abandoned factory and we have run into some awesome awesome guys here and tell these tell my uh, subscribers viewers what you guys do oh man so my name is greg aka darth bellum with the urban jedi knights ujk follow us on youtube and instagram urban jedi underscore phl we do lightsaber choreography we teach we train we're doing stuff in schools we're just trying to expand the community of star wars for our urban uh urban viewers and everything like that man so, here's my cousin so it's safe to say you guys use the force. Oh, That's absolutely. Kind of, <laughs> kind of what it is. The force, let's get it. <laughs> awesome, man. So yeah, check them out. If you guys don't yet have a squad, get out there and form one. Get your friends into the hobby. Go out and meet new people. Make new friends. It's time for you to get out there and make that family. The family you choose.